So, there is one thing left to do. I have got six demos from the official US PlayStation magazine. Number 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Let's see how much these demo discs have evolved over the years and how much they differ from the UK version because I do not have a clue. I've not even looked at these. I didn't want to look at them. Um, already the logo is quite a little bit different. The PlayStation is uh, like different like colors and schemes and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very, very intrigued. Oh. Whoa. What is happening? Oh, we're in for a treat, aren't we? Uh, much like with the miscellaneous demo discs, if I've played the demo, I'm not gonna... <laughs> oh, whoa! Whoa! Okay, this is interesting. So the first US one comes quite a bit into the life cycle, the PlayStation, because we got Tomb Raider 2. That's fascinating. Okay, so as I was going to say, like, I, I'm not going to play all these demos, or at least all the games, because I've played the majority of them for the UK disc. I just want to see how things differ. I want to see what's new here, what kind of thing like the play the US version does to sell it to the audience. I want to see if they have different maybe trailers or videos here and there. Um, I'll, I'll look at like the demos that I'm like particularly keen in. I'll certainly look at and be like, okay, this is a different demo or it's the same demo. But uh, yeah, so let's start with Tomb Raider 2. Um, I did click Tomb Raider 2, right? Yeah, it wasn't super clear. Okay. Oh, this is kind of neat. It's nice. It's got like a little custom shot. Okay, I might look at all of them to see the... Uh, View non-interactive preview. Okay, yeah. Oh, so it's oh, it's a trailer. It's not a uh, it's not gameplay. Interesting. I don't think we've seen a Tomb Raider two. Uh, yeah, I don't think we've seen it. I guess it's not really a trailer. More, it's it's just demo mode. So you get to see. Okay. Well, this is cool. So this is uh. It's about mid game. Um. It's uh. Is it the Rack of the Maria Doria? Something like that? Can't remember the exact name. It's around there. Um, but yeah, I don't remember the level well enough to be like, oh yes, this is this is where we are. Good. I, what, what, a, what a terrible preview. <laughs> you saw nothing of the game. Sorry, I need to... That's it. Oh my god. Like... She climbed out the water, she ran forward, she swam left a bit, and that was it! Oh man, that's a terrible, terrible preview for the game. Holy hell. Okay. That is... That is surprising. Okay. Oh, that's a quite a cool little piece of artwork for Parappa. Jump kick is all in the mind. Alright. I mean, yeah, it's basically the same. Yeah, yeah, cool. Fair enough. Um, intelligence cube. There is a cube and it's intelligent. Look at it. There it is. It's intelligent. It's cube. It's cube D. Yeah, it is the same game we've played before. Fighting Force. Don't really remember Fighting Force much. I'm guessing it's a fighting game. Wonder what the clue was. Was it? Uh, was it in the, in the you know the term Fighting Force? Um. Oh no, we did play this game. Yes, I'll play as Mace this time. It's, does, does she play a little differently? Well, she can pick up a bazooka in this demo. They just give you a bazooka. That was not in the UK version. Holy hell. Yeah, you were... Yeah, no, you know what? This doesn't surprise me. How do you how do you sell it to an American audience? Just weaponry. That'll do it. UK, like, no, no. You, you, you don't pick up weaponry easily. And this guy's called Baldy as well. We didn't have anyone called Baldy. We don't... It's just like... The hell? Hey, Colin. Good. Hi, Colin. I'm going to mess you up with a person called Mace. This is weird. Yeah, I, I know I played it 30 minutes ago. I couldn't remember its name. It, like, its, its name was very unmemorable. But... Yeah, it's wild. It's just, like, got weaponry in this. It's so, so weird how different that is to the UK version. Not what I was expecting. Uh, Ace Combat 2 is going to be 
basically just the same. Yeah, it absolutely is. Uh, and then uh, NFL game day. I g yeah, I guess I wouldn't have NFL games in the UK because it's it's not uh, American football is very different. So yeah, I guess you would have American football as opposed to having soccer stuff. You might have some soccer games, but typically you're gonna. Oh my god, they've got mocap? Fair play, actually. That's kind of cool. Early mocap. <laughs> that's, uh, that's wild. They want to get the player's feedback. They want to get their interest. They See, this is the kind of stuff I was looking forward to. Seeing differences. Yeah, the fact that they actually use mocap. That's wild! In 98! That... That's very impressive, honestly. That's honestly so impressive. This is awesome. Like... I'm... I'm genuinely blown away. That... Uh, uh, that's brilliant. It looks cool as well. It looks fun. I've never really played uh, American football because it's, it's not UK's equivalent, I guess, is rugby. Um, and I hated it because <laughs> I was a small, I was a small kid, and I was the one that everyone liked to bully. So I was like, ah, an excuse to just crush him. A, like, a, a legal excuse, and the teachers will allow it. Oh, all right, let's just go. Let's do it, yeah. No downside here. So, uh, I didn't, I wasn't super keen. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, you know, just... So, that's 97. So, so mocap in 97. That's wild. That's so impressive. That's so impressive. I'm, I'm genuinely very impressed. Well, that's number one. That was the first ever US demo. Let's see what number 10 is like. I've gone up in tens because I think that's a, that's about a year and a half. No, actually, no, it's a year, sorry. It's not a year and a half. Uh, there are 12 months in a year, you fool. Uh, <laughs> that's about a year. Uh, so it gives you an idea of how much things have advanced. Okay, the, the logo's still the same. Oh, this is different. Go on. We're in some kind of factory. Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, hello. Oh, this is kind of cool. They really went hard on the intros to their demos. I have to assume that they used this a couple of times and it's not just for this one demo. Whoa, okay. Okay, this is kind of awesome. All right, well, let's see. What's Gran Turismo like? Um, music's pretty good as well. I prefer the music of the UK, but that might be a nostalgic thing. So is it the same demo? It feels like it's gonna be. Yes, Clubman stage. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the same demo. Um, so, that's pretty cool. Um, so, oh, Jersey Devil! I've never played this game! I don't think this was a demo at any point in the UK one. Which is crazy because I'm from Jersey. I know it's uh I know it's not that kind of jersey. Um different jersey. Um but yeah, no, I don't I've 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 heard of this game. I've never actually seen or played it. So this is kind of cool. NARF. Okay. I got the NARF tokens. So this is kind of trash-ish. Music's pretty good though. Alright, so we've got green packs. So this is like... I'm assuming this is sort of like an overworld of sorts? And obviously it wanted me to go towards the NARF. Okay, the ba I love the background rotating like this. This is good. <laughs> this, is, this is very good. There's a level there if the truck's not there. Um, yeah, alright, yeah, it wants me to go here, because I've unlocked the cave for Narf. Um, alright, let's give this a whirl. I'm intrigued. I'm definitely going to have to put this on the list. 
Yeah, yeah, I kind of dig the music. <laughs> Bye. K. Nice. So I got that. I'm, yeah, it's just it's just jump and then spin spin jump, I guess. Uh, there might be another ability, but for now that's what I can tell. Yeah. Punch open stuff. Don't fall down that hole. It's probably quite easy to fall down that hole, but don't do it. Okay, so you can jump on things, but that's about it. You can't, like, like, hit them. Yeah, this actually, this is a pretty solid soundtrack so far. It's, like, it's interesting, because it's not the kind of music I'd expect to hear in a game level. It sounds like a very different vibe, but I quite like it. It does work. Um, okay, we can push things. I figured we could. I always believed. Hello. Oh, you grew legs. Ah! Oh, you, you dropped bombs. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Interesting. Not what I was expecting. Okay, I was able to duck there. What does that do for me? Interesting. I can only, I can only duck when, when I'm not moving. I guess, which is, I guess, it makes sense. But um, okay, this is a very interesting demo. I got a thing. Don't know what I got, but I got a thing. There's no full damage. I mean, I figured that would be the case, but I have no idea if this is like drastically different from the final version because as I say I've not seen anything of this game before. I know I've heard of the name, but like that's as far as I get. But it is fascinating. Museum Madness. I was gonna say I couldn't read what it said. Hmm. Yeah. I, I'm enjoying the, like, the witch scream, which is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely digging these demos, but, okay, there's a lot of, a lot of explosives going on. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm surprised there's as many differences as there have been so far. Like, I really didn't expect there to be this many this early on. Um... Or at least, like, in, in, a, in a sense that it's, like, it's so drastically different, you know? It's good, though. I'm, I'm delighted. It's, uh, it's made this final leg of the trip, like, like, absolutely justified. Like, I thought it was gonna be interesting, and it has, it has validated that thought. Um, which pleases me very much. I don't know what the weird, like, tail thing I just got was, but I got a weird tail thing. Do I have like a glide or something? I do! Oh, I'm gonna need to try that in a minute. I didn't realize. I mean, I do now. Narf, there we go. Narf is very strange. I don't know what it means. <laughs> but. Okay, the glide is quite limiting. Okay, okay, quite is an understatement. It is, it is very limiting. Um, but, hey, you know. It's, uh, it's still cool. Yeah, it is interesting that they, uh... They went... They went down that route with the glide. Uh, so where did I go? How did I... Oh, does that... I thought I double jumped when I did that, but no, I didn't. I don't know how. I, I got way more height that time, but I don't really know how. Um, but let's go into, uh, into yonder museum filled with madness. Beh. Is that the end of the demo? No, it might not be. Ooh, there's more. Well, oh, duh, oh no. Christ, I didn't see the hole. Like... I, I thought it was part of the floor. You can sort of see how I thought that, looking at this one shot. Okay, so these are lives. I thought they were. I wasn't sure. I'm assuming collecting a hundred of these will give me another life. Jesus. Terrifying. Okay. 
is kind of great. Whoa, what are you? Okay. Ooh, that's terrifying. Like, I, I believe that I'd be okay, but, like, also, I did not believe that I'd be okay. <laughs> It will be honestly quite interesting to play the final version of this game to see, like, what it's like. Oh, okay. Arrow. Because <laughs> it'd be interesting to see if the music's different here, because, like, I thought it was going to have a different piece of music, because it's a new room and stuff. It just doesn't. Um. Ah, okay. Rude. Um, do I get a life? I do! I knew it! Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Amazingly, that does defeat you. I I wasn't sure, with good reason. Like, the, I have every reason to suspect that that wouldn't have worked because you were absolutely massive. But no, it did. It, it worked a treat. Yeah, so we died once, but otherwise, this hasn't been super difficult. I don't know where in the game this is. It feels like it's not the first level, but it's not late game. I'd say it's probably mid. Maybe, maybe, maybe like, if there's ten levels, maybe like level three or four kind of thing. Okay, I, mean, I don't know why I expected that happened, to be fair. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Um, can I move this some more? I can move it a little bit more. It feels like it's been inspired by both Crash but also Bugs and Taz. Specifically Bugs and Taz. There's something about the design just feels Bugs and Taz in places. Um, it's quite interesting, really. Um, but I do like it. The, uh, the, I enjoyed the immense explosion when you hit an enemy. It's, it's impressive. I don't know why I didn't think spinning it would work. Whoa, okay, that's not nearly as close as I thought it was. Yeah, that needs to be way closer, doesn't it? Okay, there we go. That's, that is better, yes. It's interesting that it tells you where to go, because I figure it's quite obvious, actually, but I guess not. I guess it's not super obvious. I'm going to try this just because I want to know if it works, and if I die, then I'm just done. Okay. Well, I will get there. I just won't get the, the life. But yes, it does work. Oh. Here's where... Oh, this is very croc. Where they just give you the uh, the letters at the end. That's actually kind of interesting. Oh, I guess I need all the letters to fit. Oh, I need all the letters to win the game. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I see. Well, I'm done for now. But that's cool. Okay. That's interesting. Um... So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to put that in the list of stuff to try. Because um, I would like to give that a go. Uh, Jersey Devil. Alright. Cool. Hello Nathan, welcome. Um, what is the Grand Stream Saga? What is this? Okay, this is, this is very, very new. GHQ. In that world between beginning and end. Lie established happenings laid out. Chapter to chapter in the book of... The Almighty... I think we've played this game because I remember this intro being stupid. Like, yes. it. Yes, I have played this. Wasn't the game actually quite cool, though? Yes. Yes, it was. The game was cool, but the intro cutscene was, like, garbage. Yes, I do remember this. Uh, NBA, we, we've played that. 
Tumba. Yep, so I've got to, obviously I've got to play the entirety of this because this is not Tumbi. This is Tumba. And I've not played Tumba before. So uh, naturally, naturally, I must play the entire thing. Obviously. That's obviously how it goes. Hey, you with the pink hair. That's right. That's right, he's called Tumba, not Tumbi. But yeah, we, we have played this. We've played this many a time. Uh, NFL Extreme. Okay, what in what context is this extreme? Let's find out. A surefire hit. Is it though? It's extreme in the respect that he's, he's gonna you, people are gonna die. <laughs> Which intro do I think is better? Oh, Tumbi, one hundred percent. The music is way better. Are you kidding? Na 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 na. It's just such a better song. <laughs> I know that's not the name of the song, but that's the that's what I'm calling it. Stick in the eye graphics. Honestly, I preferred the other one where they were they were showing the actual NFL players using mocap. Like that was such a cool trailer. Like sure this shows you gameplay and shows them actually dying, but like Like it was so the other one was so cool. I mean use mocap in 97, just absolutely wild. I'm never gonna get over that. Come in July, baby. Uh huh. Major League Baseball. Yeah, of course, it's gonna be baseball games. Again, not really a thing in the UK. We got cricket, which is the game of the century, if you recall. Um, sorry, what did that say? Best PlayStation, a baseball game of the year. I thought it just said game of the year. I was like, what? But right, best PlayStation baseball game because it might be the only. Not definitely, but might be. Over 200 new pitching motions and stances. I'll, do you know what? I'll give it a lot of credit. This looks about a thousand times better than that one cricket game I played. The, the fact that you can see where you're aiming on both sides is an instant boost. Because <laughs> holy hell. Did the cricket game look and feel terrible? It just felt, and that was an official EA game as well. It felt garbage. You see, the mocap stuff is so cool. It's so cool. Oh my god, I love it. I love this kind of thing. It's absolutely brilliant. Like it just feel, it just look. I, I, I mean, I haven't played it. I can't say that it is good, but it looks good. It looks like it feels fun to play. Like, that's what matters. <laughs> Tekken 3, again, I'm gonna assume it's the same demo. Oh, actually, it's, it's, an, it's a trailer. I don't think we've actually seen this trailer. It does look good. It looks like Tekken, and Tekken is amazing. I guess that's a thing. Trailer music would be different, wouldn't it? Because UK and US audiences, they try and sell it differently. Speed Racer. Oh, is this the game with the weird people? No, no, this is different. There was a like a speed racer type game, but no, this is this is the other speed racer. Hello. Yes, you. Isn't it like an anime or something? Hello, everybody. Hello! Let's go with the short course. I have not played this before. I guess I'm just gonna stick with what I had. This is kinda cool. I've not really seen or played Speed Racer. I'm actually surprised there are so many different differences in the amount of demos that are here. I'm genuinely surprised. But it's cool. Alright, well let's see what Speed Race game is like. Um, as, a, as a start, not great. Okay, this music's really good. Oh! I think it's, uh, I think it's like an intro like theme. I think it's like a... I think speed, like it's a speed racer, like TV theme or something. Yeah, it's a series, anime, movie. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is like a remix of the anime theme, I think. That's, honestly, that's kind of cool. Okay, I've got one lap to get more. I can do that. Yeah, baby. I'm the speed racer. I cut the corner a bit, but there is no rule against it, so. Go, speed, go! Oh dear, that's not good. 
I went too fast. Come on, speed racer, go! Yeah! They're gonna crash into you, mate. <laughs> like, you're in the middle of the track at the ends. Stop it! <laughs> That's dangerous, speed racer! That was alright. That's pretty cool. Blasto. Oh, go on. Where's Blasto? Have I played this? Blasto. Captain Blasto. No, I have not played this. The hell is this? This looks like Ace Lightning, but like more cursed somehow. No one in the US is gonna know what Ace Lightning is. <laughs> So Fox, do you have all the PS2 demos? And more specifically, are they UK or are they US or are they both? God, this is surprisingly hard. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a messed up earth weapon, Jim. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh god, I'm alive. Okay, great. I've got a 200 terawatt charger, whatever that means. Oh no! I mean, if you're gonna go out, go out with style, I guess, right? You may as well just die screaming Geronimo. Instead of, FUCK! <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, there's there's no other way to go out. Or, yee <laughs> Are you capable of not dying? You know, are you... Whoa! What a shame. All things must come to an end, oh no. I believe in you, mate. Oh, God damn, it's impossible. This is... Why is this jump the hardest? Do you have a double jump? And I don't... No, you don't. This jump's just stupidly hard. Have to have that look bad. God damn. I got a life. And it gave me a map bonus, whatever that means. Okay, great. Go, Blasto. If you fight nothing, you'll be fine. Oh, these crumble. Of course they do. Classic PS1. Got ya. Alright. Yeah, they're much larger. Fair enough. Ah! Woo. Oh, I'm invisible. This is weird. This game is weird. I don't hate it. But... What the hell? Ants? It's a colony of ants. Oh, it's lagging like the bastard. Okay. This game does not like all of these ants. Oh, hello. It's the queen ant. You can't kill what you can't see. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's quite hard to hear you. I mean, if, if you don't mind, I mean, uh, that's a lot to upload, so you don't have to at all. Uh, that's, I'm aware, but I won't be getting to it anytime soon. Oh my god. <laughs> I am dead, because this game is impossible. <laughs> Grand Trismo. We're back to the beginning. Okay. Well, this was pretty cool. That was demo number 10. Let's jump forward a year to number 20. It might be a year and a bit if, uh, if they release them every other month. I, I'm assuming they're releasing them every month. Um, oh, look at this. This looks, this looks like like the, one of the cutaways in you being framed. <laughs> We're about to see someone fall over on a TV screen in a minute. Don't worry, it's going to be very funny. Harry Hill's going to do a quip. Just just wait for it. Okay, this music's excellent. Okay, no, but really, this music is stunning. 982 gigabytes. Ah! That's, uh... That's a lot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it's mostly UK, I'll take the UK, but if it's, like, if it's both, then... 
Uh, or if you've got like a, um, if it, if it's like some UK, some US, I, I'm fine. Just the, I I don't mind whatever, however it works. <laughs> Legend of Lagaya. Okay, no, but this music's awesome. I'm gonna need to download this. Well, there's Legend of Lagaya. I don't think I've played that. I don't recall. Contrail. Oh. Ooh. This is pleasant. Music's quite nice so far. God created the heavens, the earth, and the seas. After creating all things in the universe, God created humans to rule over this world. Yet, while possessing the wisdom of God, humans were physically weaker than the wild beasts and impulsive in spirit. Many times did the humans come close to dying out forever. Concerned about the hummus, future, um, God gave them a mighty force with which to aid them. It was uh, hummus for the hummus. I like reading humans as hummus, I don't know why. It pleases me. It was the Seru. They look like cock and bull statues with wings. Am I the only one seeing this? Since the dawn of human memory known as history, Hummus lived together with the creatures known as huge cock and bulls. The, the huge cock and bulls lived together with Hummus, always obeying them and making the Hummus many times stronger than before. If you give the penis wings, it will be powerful. When not worn by a human, uh, a penis looks much like a stone figure. However, however, you would be wrong. You would be very wrong. Upon touching a human, a penis changes form and gives that human secret abilities. <laughs> With a penis, a human can lift objects heavier than itself and even fly in the air at will. I've got this power. Why? Why have I not got this power? I, I've been, this game has proven to me that I can fly, and I because I I have been gifted the penis, and yet, however, that era came to an end. Oh, that's why the era of flight ended. Oh, what a shame! Appearing from out of nowhere, the mist covered the land, bringing an end to the preposterous symbiosis between penis and human and hummus. Sorry, hummus. After the thick mist came, the penis who once obeyed humans rebelled against them. They look less penisy now. Um, oh no. Oh my god, no. You know what? I, I immediately take back calling that a penis because god, that is a terrible image that I just I unintentionally conjured. That is not good. Um, anyway, as if forsaken by god, human civilization collapsed. It was the twilight of humanity. Yay! What is this game? Those who escaped the mist inhabited the desolate areas and protected each other. Now their faint hope is their only source of inspiration. Why was this not on the UK demos? Well, I'm assuming. Yeah, this is Final Fantasy esque RPG. It really is. This is wild. Yes. I'm I want to get to the gameplay. Like I sure sure story blah blah blah. I want to get to gameplay because I want to know what this is like. Oh, you can run. Nice. I want to know what the gameplay is actually like. Is it turn-based? Is it action combat? Is It's not Breath of Fire. It's uh it was oh, I can't remember what it was called. I don't want to accidentally press the wrong thing. I mean, it might be it might have a different name, so maybe it is Breath of Fire, but what, what is what the hunk those? How could you forget? I've been sewing for days trying to make sure they'll be ready for you to buy them. Okay. I was just joking at. It's a mean joke. Oh, okay. I'm very sorry. Let's finish. We have to check some of the measurements. All right. Yeah, sure. Sure, I understand. Heck yeah. You're so kind, even though you made me super angry five seconds ago. I'll be in the house. Music's pretty good. No! No, don't get too close to the wall. That'd be silly. The memory statue will give you things. Okay. Treasure chest won't budge. Oh, I need some kind of special power. The memory statue cannot be used to save data in the demo version. How dare you? Usually not in this cave. But I'm here now since this is the demo version. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, I respect it. I like stuff like that. It's funny.
Yeah, this is pretty cool. This is interesting. Okay. This is pretty cool. Because I, I really want to get to combat. I want to know what type of combat this game is. Like, I cannot tell. I had a store here, I'd sold many different weapons. While I was cleaning, I began to reflect on those days and suddenly started to cry. Being with the day when the mist clears and people from outside the village will shop here again. I'll shop at your store, I promise. Not right now, but, but one day. I promise. This is really cool, though. Like, obviously, like, Final Fantasy VII was such a big deal. Like, every, like, I mean, obviously people wanted to be Final Fantasy-like game anyway, because Final Fantasy was a big franchise before VII, but VII was just such a big deal that everyone really, really wanted to be the next one. Um, and this is, a uh, like, just a testament to, yeah, we kind of, we can kind of see it, can't we? This is very interesting indeed. But, uh, yeah. Excellent. It's getting late. What could he be doing? Just gonna skip forward because I, I do, I do want to, I do want to like see what I'm doing. But I did. Okay. Well, I did thank her, but yeah, I just want to see the gameplay. I just want to know what this game is like. I'll go hunting outside tomorrow. Yeah, I'm sure I will. Um, I, like, I'm, I'm desperate to know, like, what is the combat? Like, is it gonna be action? Is it gonna be? I don't know. I definitely will, like, consider playing this in the future, though, because it's pretty cool. Okay, well, uh, I guess I need to go to bed or something. I don't know how. Hmm. Yeah, maybe skipping dialogue did not help me because it probably told me where to go and I don't know anymore. Um. Yeah, I could, I could need to, uh, yes. No, do not get too close to the wall. I'm going go in here again. Do I rest in bed? No. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> well, I won't be here forever. I will move on in a minute, but... I kind of... I, I would love to see what I need to do, but... What, what, what have I got here? Because I've got items, magic... Yeah, so I think it is going to be... Yeah, I think it is going to be turn-based combat. Okay. Interesting. Well, this is pretty cool. I'm going to load. Um, Legend of Lagaya. I am going to put that in my list. Because that is cool. Uh, Legend of Lagaya. Uh... Yeah, I'm also going to put that in the music section because it was pretty good. Um, uh, alongside best music, uh, I need to also put... Um, uh, uh, USPS Demo 20 because it's pretty good. It's got pretty good music. But yeah, that was a wild demo. What is... What is this? Ugh, jeez! The combat in the guy is quite interesting. I mean, I wanted to get to it, but it's just hard to get to because it's going to give me a lot of plot. Doesn't have straight up attack option. Oh, really? Interesting. This sounds like someone from, like, early internet is trying to say orgies. Like, oh my god, orgies! Like, that's what this game sounds like. Oh, it's a square game. Okay. Interesting. What the hell? Cloud is in this. Is he?
This looks rad. Why does it have such a weird name? <laughs> okay. Animation's real nice. <laughs> that was a good face. Oh, jeez. This game is nuts. Is this gonna be like a fighter game or something? Oh, that's cool. Oh, damn, you got a wild leg. That's kind of cute. Badass. Badass. This game is rad. As is the music. God damn. It still sounds like early internet. I'm trying to say orgies, but whatever. All right, let's give this a whirl. I don't know what to expect. So I can be God Hand or, or God Hand or, 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 or God Hand. I'm sure, I guess I'm playing as God Hand. I, yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know what this means. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, it sure is a fighting game in a wrestling ring. <laughs> Whoa! You have you have guns. Let's stop it. Let's stop it. Oh, I just threw a grenade, okay, fun. Cloud Tifa and Sephiroth are in this. What? How the hell have I never heard of this? I, I can't lose now. There we go. He has an RPG mode. What? This is weird. Oh dear. It's going badly. Oh, that was more like it. No, that's not good. No, it's not good. No, it's not good. I've literally never heard of this. It's crazy. I was hoping the grenade thing would be good. I, I won the first one with zero problem, and now I'm losing badly. Wow. Okay, what a loss. Big sads. Okay, we're going to put that on the list of let's try that out in the future. Because it was pretty cool. Um, so... Uh, jeez. It's, it's certainly weird, and I'll also put that in the music section, because the soundtrack was also pretty good. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's just... Yeah, <laughs> wasn't expecting that, but fair enough. What else is there? Gex 3! Is it the same demo, or is it going to be a different demo? I'm not going to play it, because I'm going to play the main game later on in, down the line. Oh! Uh, yes, this is the same demo we played. Um... Contender, this is different. This is gonna be a boxing game. At least I think it's different. I'm I have played some boxing games. Not this one though. Uh, Lewis Hedges and Marvin the Tank. Well, that's been Marvin. It's called the Tank. He's gotta be good. All the clues are there. Alright. Oh, Lester was referred to as the animal. But I'm referred to as the tank. Marvin the tank would. All right, let's do this. Marvin, you got this. Final round. Okay, one round, let's go. Fight. Gonna move slowly. <laughs> the tank. <laughs> like the most pathetic, they look like they have zero weight behind any of their punches. It... <laughs> I, I don't mean to, to laugh, but like, it is, it, it, uh, it, the, like, weight is an important thing, and it feels like there is zero weight behind 
anything they're doing. It looks like two kids just playing in a field. Just like, oh yeah, no, I'm not really gonna hurt you, don't worry about it. Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> oh, Centipede! I think we- I'm pretty sure we played this. Oh, I think it's a- Wait, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. This does not seem familiar. Or at least this this intro cutscene doesn't seem familiar. What the hell is this? Yes, no, I have played this. Yep, yeah, no, I was gonna say like this doesn't look familiar, but yes, I have played this. Okay, cool. I said the name sounded right. Yeah, I played G Police. Uh, Gauntlet Legends. Don't know what Gauntlet Legends is. Go on. It's a trailer. Is it gonna be another fighting game? The name suggests maybe, but the video suggests no. Okay. That's what you get. You try and summon the devil and the devil will fight back. Jesus Christ. That, that sound effect was kind of brutal. It's a dungeon crawler type thing. Okay. I wonder if we'll actually see gameplay here, if it's just going to be, like, the intro cutscene. Okay, we'll never know. Yes, we will, maybe. Gauntlet Legends. No, we'll never know. <laughs> Driver, we played that. Oh, but I need to know, does it have the tutorial? No, it doesn't. It's a video. Okay, so uh, I've uh, I've got a video coming out today on um, on Driver, uh, seeing if uh, it is the worst tutorial of all time. Is it? Well, you'll find out when you watch the video. Freds, what's Freds? Is this an actual? Like, is this an actual? T touch the screen. <laughs> I'm touching it. It's not doing anything. Freds, this stuff. Good. And more! <laughs> right, so it's PlayStation merch. It's available online, baby! <laughs> it's at PlayStation.com! It's so weird seeing them use the at symbol in 98. It feels too early. It feels way too early. Also, the, uh, the green screen work is uh, exceptionally bad. You do love to see it. Freds! Good. Good. Alright. Wear this screen. With the wrong spelling. Cool. Free extreme. Alright. Fat tricks. Huge air. Yeah, it is. It is a... Uh, it is a multi game. Yeah, it, yeah, it's, yeah, okay. We, we know what it is. And then we're we're back to we're back to that. Alright, well there's still three more to go. That was number twenty. Let's jump to number thirty. Let's see what we got. Oh my god. These are all so extravagant. They have no right to be this insane. They just go so hard for all of them, it's kinda of brilliant. I didn't expect them to do this much, you know? I like the charm of the PS1 demos in the UK, but the US really do go all out. They clearly had a significantly bigger budget. <laughs> There it is. Official US PlayStation magazine. Yeah. Good stuff. We're in 2000, baby. Ace Combat 3. Electrosphere. What is this huge, like, robot dragon? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what is this? Is this an actual game? Because I'll play this game. 
Oh, what the hell? They did not need to do this. <laughs> what the hell? I'm, I'm assuming it's the same as everything else I've played. Yeah, I've, I've played this demo a thousand times. Cool. Silent Bomber. I think I've played this. I'll double check. This music's pretty good, though. Oh, entering a circle because it's a Japanese game. That's interesting. Circle and X are reversed in Japan. I think I have... Yeah, 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 I've played this game. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I was pretty sure I played it. NCAA Final Four 2000. Well, that is a pretty bad name. But anyway, uh, let's go. So it's, it's, it's got a lot of info that I feel like I don't need. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's play. Everyone, glad you can join us. I'm Quinn Buckner. Welcome to Connecticut. Okay, let's go. We're set to tip things off. Yes, we are. I am ready to play some basketball. I've not seen much of it. My my biggest experience is Space Jam, I'll be honest. Well, it's a bad start. I There was nothing I could do. They just sort of... Oh, wait. I'm not playing. I'm just watching. Okay. I was going to say, like, there, I, there was... No, they just... I breathed and then they went there. <laughs> Jump shot. Wow, the way that ball bounced. Impressive. Let's watch it again. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be an intense match, you can tell. I love the squeak noise. It's good. 31. On the drive. 31. Puts it up. Noise. Yeah, I think we're done here. It's If I was playing, I'd play more, but yeah. Seven Filter 2. I'm assuming it's the same demo I've played a thousand times. Is it the train? It is the train, baby! Twisted Metal 4? There's four of them? There's four of these! Literally, the only demo that showed up in the UK was the first one. And I genuinely... I thought there were two of them. I didn't realise there were four. Oh, that is wild. Okay. Okay, well, you move quite fast, don't you? Okay, you can shoot here. Okay. Hello. Yeah, you better fear me. I'm assuming you're not on my team. Oh, God! The devil. It, it's trying to kill me. This is kind of cool. T, but I missed. Oh, Jesus, there's a train. I didn't realize that's where I was. I was just trying to collect the T, and then train showed up. It, it caught me off guard. You know, as, as trains do sometimes. Whoa, okay. That teleported me somewhere. Couldn't tell you where. It's crazy that there are four games on PS1 as well. Like, I thought if there were going to be more in the franchise, they were going to be on later consoles. There's so many on PS1. Whoa. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yes! Yeah! <laughs> that was awesome! I don't know what I did, but it was awesome. It was pretty good. Okay, where are you? Right, where are you? There you are. I need you to die, okay? It's a lot of missiles coming away. And yet you're not dying, somehow. So you barely lost any health. I mean, the game's alright. It's a bit boring, but at least for me it is. I mean, I don't mind it. It's just not really doing much for me. Yeah, that's fun enough. Just the metal four. 
Crashing racing. Yeah, I'm assuming it is indeed Papu's Pyramid, as it always is. It sure is, every time. Oh, that jingle was different, though. Yeah, the music's the same here. I said that jingle was different. But yeah, it's uh, it's Crashing Racing. It's a great time. We love Crashing Racing. We all know it. Um, that was fun. Good. Spyro 2. Oh, that's a pretty cool art. Um, I'm assuming same demo as always. Yep, Sunny Beach and Skeletor's Badlands. Sure is. Um, are there different tracks for two player and four player? Are there? I mean, I'll have a look. Um, I just assumed there wouldn't be, but maybe there is. Oh, there are! Okay, I'll give this a go then. Alright, I'll try Dingo Canyon then. I guess I get to play Crash Team Racing. Lucky me. Interestingly, the uh, the charge reticle isn't there. Um, I'm assuming it still exists, right? I need to know. Yes, it does still exist. Oh, and the little beetles aren't there. Uh, unless that's just the nitro field thing. But I thought they were... Actually, were there any in the first area? No, there's none here. Either. Yeah, no, it's not. I mean, I knew that like the beetles weren't just a nitro field thing, but I thought maybe in that specific location. But yeah, there's not even beetles here. Yeah, the little like beetle things that go across the screen aren't, aren't here. That's interesting. That's interesting, but that's uh, not been implemented yet. I didn't realise there were different tracks for the different, like, uh, things. I would have would have done that ages ago if I knew. I wonder what track we're going to do for four player. The preview had Papu's Pyramid again. But if they are different tracks, and Cortex has made his way really far, given that he's not <laughs> playing. <laughs> he must have been pushed by the other races. That's hilarious. He made it over a hill. Like it's, it is an impressive feat. Will he get pushed again? No, he will not. Pity. If I wasn't faffing around uh, trying to see if there was, uh... oh dear, <laughs> I could have overlapped people if I was playing better. Uh, but then, am I? Finished! Alright, well let's, uh, wait, no, let's, uh, go back and see, uh, what full play is like. It is... Have fun. Good luck. Oh, okay. Oh, there's, there's so much less detail here. This is interesting. Like, Crash looks really weird. His ears are so pointy. I gotta try it. Oh, I blew it. I blew it. I blew it? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm a legend. You know it. I'm an absolute legend. Yeah. I'm, I'm still a Nitro Fueled legend. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I know it's four players, so cutbacks have to be made. They look weird though, like Cortex's head looks so bizarre. Crash looks like Crash's ears look weird. Like the uh the textures of the level look interesting. Like it's just yeah. Just strange for sure. Yeah, there you go. Well, it was fun to play Crash Team Racing again. I'm glad I got to. Um, it was cool. Um, MTV Music Generator. What is this? I mean, it's MTV, so this might be quite copyright. Uh, oh, it's kind of like the... Oh, it's basically like the music one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the music one in the UK. It's just this is MTV version. Interesting. Okay. Test Drive Cycles. This is new. Hello. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Hmm. All right. This is uh. This is certainly 
a way to sell the game. I kind of like it. Dude! <laughs> Look at that track. These tracks are wild. Hmm. It's actually pretty cool. Twelve real world. Oh, these are actually real tracks because they look mental. Like <laughs> nerve-wracking shortcuts. Some of them look more nerve-wracking than others, but yes. <laughs> so some of them might have you crash. <laughs> I'm intrigued to know if that camera angle can be set up for, uh, like, for the actual racing or if it's just, like, for the trailer. The tracks actually look pretty cool. I, uh, I approve of this game. <laughs> it looked like they weren't on a bike at the end now. I can't tell if that's my mind playing tricks on me, but it was, that was good. Alright. Well, there you go. Test drive cycles. Pretty cool. Uh, Vigilante 8. Second defense. Alright. Oh, it's a, it's a trailer. Okay. 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 Yeah, it looks kind of interesting. It's like Twisted Metal, but not. So, fair enough. Right. Alundra 2. The name does ring a little bit of a bell. I don't know if I did see it or not. Maybe not. I don't remember if I have seen it or not. It looks cool though. Yeah, this actually does look pretty cool. Intriguing. I can't tell if I did play this. It looks good. Add it to the list. The, the large, the large growing list of games I want to try at some point. Lundra 2. Yeah, it's a well-known RPG series. Yeah, I think that's where I've heard of it. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen this. It looks cool. Yes, it looks very, very cool. There's a lot going on. Very cool. And then back to Ace Combat 3. Okay. So that was number 30. Let's check out disc 40. Let's see what this did. Oh boy, hello. Yet again, gone all out. <laughs> this is so cool. They just... They didn't have to go this hard. It's so interesting. Wow. Epic race. Tron 3. Nice. The, uh, the logo's been cleaned up. Looks good. All right. Oh, 102 Dalmatians! Wow, yeah, we didn't get a demo of that in the UK one. Wow, cool. I won't play much of it. I'm assuming it's going to be the first level. Adventures of Thunderbolt. Yeah, it's just the intro cutscene. Because I, I literally played this game for YouTube like... Like six, seven months ago, so... Oh, wow, this is quite a late game level. I'm surprised. Yeah, it's still there. I, oh, I love this so much. I love it so much. It's so cool. It's 
one of the coolest things I've ever seen. <laughs> it's such a simple idea, but it's brilliant. Alright. Yeah, this is, uh, I don't remember exactly where in the game. But yeah, it was quite late. It was, uh, it was, how many worlds were there? Like, like four worlds? I think this is world three? I don't know, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just world two. It's still late-ish. But yeah, I mean, as I say, I'm not going to play this whole thing. I just wanted to see a little bit. Um, but uh, it does seem to be pretty much done. Way to go! <laughs> Way to go! <laughs> you did it! Good job! Yeah! But yeah, I'm surprised that uh, they chose such a late level. But I mean, it does work. I guess it's, it's it makes sense because it's got like a fun little slide mini game. And like th this level actually is quite basic it's not that difficult so yeah that makes sense it is actually a good choice ah oh, spider-man uh, i'm assuming it's the first level again um which we have played many a time yeah it is halfway through yeah i thought so is it is it oh, the spider. intro level it sure is the intro level yeah we, we played that before oh wow the grinch again never showed up in the uk demo now here's the question what are they going to showcase here because the grinch is quite an open game you're not just going to give me the whole of Whoville, surely. I'm intrigued, though. Maybe you are going to give me. Huh. Oh, it was the fourth level. Oh, okay, fair enough. Ah, that's fine. I don't mind not playing Spider-Man. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Yeah, they really are just kind of giving you all of Phil, seemingly. Now, there are limitations to how much you can do here, because you don't have certain abilities. But I'm surprised that they're actually giving you this much freedom. Ouch. Like, this is actually quite... I mean, I mean, I guess it makes sense, like, how... How do you, like... How, how do you create a demo of this without being like, okay, just have the whole level? Because it is a big level to explore, but also there are limitations because you need blueprints. I'm trying to think, without blueprints, where can you not get into? You, you can get in the post office, but you can't, like, do rotten eggs. There's, there's a, there is a lot you can't do. But yeah, this seems, from what I can tell at least, this demo seems to be pretty much the same as the final version. Um, there might be minor differences here and there, but I think it is the same. Also, can I just say, like, this soundtrack is stupidly underrated. It's real good. Yeah, like, this, this game soundtrack is excellent. The, uh... The Who Dump is so, so good. <laughs> as is this theme. This theme in general is just pretty good. Like, as a, as a level theme, it's, it's real nice. I don't know who the composer actually is, but they absolutely nailed it. Because, like, this theme even goes into this, like, quiet, somber section of it. It's so good. And then it just loops again. But, like, it just, just has a nice little, like, just ending point to the theme. It's just great. Like, I don't love this game because it's hard as balls and it, like, it, like, really broke me and my mum as a child. <laughs> like, we, we really had a hard time of it. Um, but it is a great game. Like, it, it is well made. It's just, it's just difficult. It's just very, very difficult. Oh, that child is on me. I will not let you. You will not destroy me. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's impressive. It's very impressive. But they just give you so much here. Although... As I say, how would I get up there? Because don't you need... Uh... Oh no, it's via here. Okay, never mind. You can still get it. Yeah, it's got a lot of backtracking. But it is a fun game. It, I, I will concede, yeah, it does have a lot of backtracking. Yeah, you can do this. For a second, I thought you couldn't... Uh... 
yeah, because you want to get the painter. Because he's got... And then... How do you do the, that stunt? Ah, there we go. Yeah, you want to do something like this. Oh. You're very lucky. But, but not that lucky. Um, yeah, you get the paint and then you can... Then you can uh, paint over the mare pictures. Oh, he doesn't... Is that... Was that just a, a one-off or... No, he doesn't have the OW noise when he bangs his head. Yeah, he doesn't. It's not there yet. Okay, so it's not a complete game. It's missing some lines of dialogue and stuff. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that to be missing, but I guess it makes sense. Little lines of dialogue here now. You can't get in here for ages, so I'm not even going to try. Um, I want to destroy more snowmen. Oh, he does have the owl sound. He usually does it when, uh, when you, like, bang your head on something. Um, but I guess not. Anyway, I won't spend my entire time here. I'll just, I just want to play it a little bit again. I have good memories of this game because me and Dino have played it. For Christmas calamities. And there you go, we paint the man and he looks cursed as hell and you love it. And we got 50 things. Um, I can't do anything in this building, but I should be able to go in at least. I'm pretty sure it's open to me. Be quiet, do not wake him up. Do not wake him up. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I can at the very least go inside. I won't be able to do anything. Because you need to be able to... You need the rocket launcher? Like the, 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 like the jetpack, sorry. I think to pull the, the thing down. Unless it's just already down. I suspect it won't be. But they could have for the demo. Because I think you only need it to begin it. So they could have taken it away so you can actually do the puzzle. Let's find out. Nope. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, I figured as much. Yeah, it's, uh... The music here is real good. <laughs> yeah, you, you can try. Oh, okay. Ah! Uh, ouch! Ouch! Annihilated me. Yeah, I think we're done here for now. That was cool! I appreciate that. That was fun. Army men, air attack too! This is very much not a thing in the UK. We did not see this in the UK demos at all. Video. Video. Alright. I know of them from Toy Story. <laughs> I mean, they are in the UK, but like, just, I don't, I didn't see any game. Sarge is working on a new weapon. Terrifying. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. I hate it. Okay. This is kind of cool. Yeah, get a little closer. Okay, you know what? No. Oh my god! Huge toy dog! Whoa! Okay, this game is rad! What the hell? I'm gonna shoot the, the, the wind-up dog at its butt! <laughs> that is not what I was expecting, but it's kind of awesome. Missing about three more pieces. You think you can find them at Whoa, all? Whoa, this game is weird. Die? This game is I've awesome. The remaining eggplant pieces and mark them on your radar. Anything else you need? Just whistle. Okay. Whoa, I am running into some heavy traps here. This is absolutely wild. This game is cool. I'm not very good at it, but it is cool. Oh, you do have a strafe. Oh, that's nice. Oh, would you look at that? Yeah, and the strafe does keep it on. Okay, that's good. I'm like, I'm about to die, but still. Yeah, this, this game is absolutely wild. Oh, you can bring like books and stuff. Oh, okay, interesting. 
So this is the piece I need for the eggplant, I guess. Yeah, okay. Okay, but this is stopping me from going that way? Interesting. Okay. Weird. I'm being attacked by a butterfly. <laughs> I don't understand what I'm doing wrong, I'll be honest. Is this what I need? No. <laughs> I do not get it. Do I just need to go this way? I guess I just need to go this way. Oh! I hit a switch and I explode. Yeah! Okay, well I'm dead. But... It was pretty cool. I like that. That's fun. Driver 2, The Wheel Man is Back. I played that. Medal of Honor Underground. I think I played that. 102 Dalmatians. Alright, so there is only one demo left to look at, and it is Demo 50! We're going to the end of the US PlayStation demos um, to see what it's like. And it, it's honestly, it's been a wild ride looking at all Every these worlds. Well, what is happening here? 24 golden hours. They're okay. One of the few things in this world that you get for free. This is not what I was expecting. If you had all the money in the world, you couldn't buy another one. Spend them well. Okay. There's just an Adidas advert at the beginning of this PS1 demo. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> that is a thing. That is a choice. That is a choice that was made. Okay. This is kind of cool. Music's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get the soundtrack for the US demos because they're pretty great. <laughs> this is cool. This is absolutely wild. It really is. So yeah, we're here at the end of our journey. We have, we are, this is the final demo we're gonna look at for the PS1 demos. Which, yeah, it's it's been wonderful to do, it really has. Um, but uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is the end. <laughs> Again, I love how much effort they put in. It's so good. It's so, so good. Alright, let's... Oh, what? This is not what I was expecting, but that's cool. Okay. Again! Loads of effort. Looks pretty cool. Oh, that's a bit of an annoying noise, but yeah. Spider-Man 2. It's, uh, it's gonna be a level in the game. Is it gonna be the Welcome first level? To trading tale, hero daring do. Oh what? Is that you, Stanley? Found our arachnid hero yet again. So get ready for a pulse-pounding, web-slinging tale of shocking revelations. Oh, that's cool. That's my trusty spider compass. It shows me where to go when I'm out and about. That's so cool. Whoops. <laughs> Nearly died immediately. Oh wow, I didn't realize that. No, I don't. I. I swear to God, I'm trying not to die. Like, <laughs> I didn't realize Stanley was in the game. That's fun. That's a, that's a fun thing to discover. I like. I like very much. There we go. That's how you swing. It does make sense. That would be the right. That would, it would be that button. Spider sense tingling. Yep. Yeah, sure is. Means trouble for yours truly. It'll be okay. I will subdue the fog with square or circle. He is thankfully very stupid. Looks like I'm expected. Holding L1 will allow me to target those guys from here. Oh really? So, and then what? Oh wow! Huh, that's cool. I mean, I didn't really get you. I thought I was going to get you as well. I might have been able to get stuck. But that's pretty neat. He's in both games. Ah, oh, fair enough. Ah, one of these will give me more help. 
Yeah, I didn't realize he was in both games. That's very cool. Okay, we're going this way. Stanley was such a great, great guy. Like, rest in peace, man. Whoops. That nearly went badly. Don't mind me. I'm not very good at this game. I'm good at the new ones. <laughs> okay, let me rephrase that. I'm okay at the new ones. I don't know why I'm so bad at this one. Oh dear. Okay. Terrifying. Oh, spider sense is tingling. Everything turned radioactive. Do you take damage if you fall into the void? I'm pretty sure you straight up die if you fall into the void. I mean, I can find out if you really want. <laughs> But I'm gonna assume I would die. These thugs were up to something, but I hire and follow my compass. Yeah, I, sh I probably should. It's this way. I've made it. To building with nothing on it. They were up to nothing. Yeah, you just die. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Whoa. Oh, what? Sure don't look like Boy Scouts. Oh, this is cool. Do I not go in there? Okay, apparently not. Alright, let's go up then. Are we are we not going in the building? Is it it felt like I was supposed to and then it wouldn't let me. Felt like that's where I was going because there was a big hole in the wall. It seemed like that was a thing I should probably check out. The game was like, nah. <laughs> okay. Oh no, I'm supposed to take you out. Hello. Haha. Time to save the day or evening. This is pretty cool though. I can get behind it. Uh, don't thank me, boys. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna move on from this. But it was pretty cool. Oh, we played this briefly. It's a fighting game, right? Yeah, I'm gonna play as Mystique. 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 Don't expect me to do good. You dare stand in my way? She's got a bazooka. <laughs> For the sake of all humanity. Cool. <laughs> it did, I mean, it does the job. Jeez. I was gonna say, Cyclops has obviously got a big laser beam coming out of his eyes, so he's gonna, he's gonna do well on that basis. Jeez. Please die. There we go. Annihilated. Good stuff. I overestimated you. And yet, yeah, still one. I don't know how to activate my specials. I know I've got some down below somewhere. Destroy you, it's surprisingly difficult. We must be close. Oh, jeez. That did a lot. Okay, that did a lot. Ah, no. I will not let you win, not now. There we go. That was cool. Alright, next up. Barbie Explorer! Oh my god, really? Really? Oh wow, I played this uh, last year for uh, my All the Barbies video, which was a lot of fun. Um, I I didn't hate this as much as most people did. 
Uh, I know a lot of people did hate this, but I thought it was alright. Uh, I'll do African Jungle, why not? The deepest rainforest. Let's see if I remember why it's so bad. If I remember, the jump is a little awkward. It is, but it somehow doesn't feel as awkward as I remember it being. Oh, no, it is. I was going to say, like, I thought you had no control after you jumped. Uh, but no, I, I, you don't. <laughs> you're, uh, you're looking, like, once you've jumped, you are locked in that position. The first time I jumped, though, it didn't feel like I was, which is why I was surprised and confused. I was like, oh, wait a minute. The demo feels better than the final game. Uh, but no, it doesn't. Oh, doesn't it also have, like, the lamest uh, heart collection sound as well? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, good. I've collected, I've collected health. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting Barbie Explorer to be here, but yeah, it's hey, pretty... It's pretty cool that it is. I mean, it makes sense for that. I'm surprised, yeah, there were no Barbie games in the, um, in the, uh, UK ones. I'm surprised, because Barbie's not, like, a small franchise. It's not like Barbie's exclusive to the US. But, hey, you know, whatever. Whatever works. I mean, I'm enjoying the endless roll. Oh, actually, I may as well get that. I was gonna say, it's a life, I think. Yeah, she really just keeps going, doesn't she? <laughs> as long as you deem it so, she will roll for eternity. Oh dear. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you sure do just lose an entire life for that. Yeah, there we go. I'm determined to beat this level. Oh yeah, this yeah, this is infuriating. So if you fall down there, you know that 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 hole that's like two feet down? Yeah, you will die. <laughs> even though it makes oh yeah, yeah, that happened in the final version of the game as well. Uh, even though it makes no sense. Um, yeah, so like, this game obviously is not great, like it has problems, but I didn't hate it, like it just, it's just funny, like as a game, like, I, I enjoyed it for what it was worth, um, like it, also if you were, uh, if you game over, uh, you not only have to redo the level that you died on, uh, you have to redo the entire game. There is no checkpoint system. <laughs> um, so don't run out of all the lives, of which you will, because there are parts of the game which are not fun. It's not true. You can do it. I just did. <laughs> um, but I blew it on the second one, but you can do it. But yeah, it's a, it's a Crash Bandicoot clone, um, which, uh, you know, it's not the strongest Crash clone, but that is what it is, and it's, uh... Watch out for the chimp! <laughs> Watch out for the chimp! <laughs> Gets bodied by it. Like, <laughs> absolutely annihilated. Um, but yeah, the levels are also quite long. I forgot how long they are. Um... I'd be having, I'd have more lives if AO was playing better, like, I was, if I was playing like I'm trying to survive, and also if, uh, uh, if I was actually going for the gems and stuff, like, you can rack up quite a few lives. I forgot how long the levels are, though. I thought this level was significantly shorter, but apparently not, because, uh, we're still going. Cool. Very good. Oh good. Yep, you, you see that, that, that tremendous hole that I fell down? Yep. Are you ready to see me game over? Because I'm going to.
Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Crash Bandicoot warped! Classics, baby. Oh, it's a different level! Wow, it's always been the uh, the level with uh, uh, G-Wiz. So cool that we get another one. That's fun. Yeah. I'm down for this. This pleases me. It's nice that at the end we get to play Barbie, which, you know, was my uh, a big video last year. And we get to play Crash, which is um, this box, which is my... Uh, you know, my childhood. They, uh, they delivered on the final demo. And I respect it. Yeah, I was never good at getting all the boxes on the table. That's fine. I don't need to be. I'm having fun. It is a cool level. I still prefer Crash 2, but it is a good game. It, it, it is a great game. Crash 3 just has too many gimmicks that are not fun, <laughs> to put it bluntly. Look, the plane levels are so boring. Oh, the warp room is a little different. That makes sense. Yeah, loading. That's pretty cool. Tekken 3. Well, that'll be the same demo we played a million years. Okay, is it the same Spyro 3 demo? The image is of a different level. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. But uh, no, this is indeed the same demo we've played a hundred times. Cyber Filter 2, it's the train. Twisted Metal 2. I haven't played Twisted Metal 2. I played 1 and I played 4, so I'll give it a go. That is a horrifying face. <laughs> Roadkill. All right, let's, let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. I kind of want the top left vehicle. Look at that munchy thing. That's pretty good. All right, let's go. Uh, how do we move? Oh, hold forward. Oh, weird. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Just, what just happened? What hit me? <laughs> oh my God. This game is wild. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting annihilated immediately. I'm on fire. That I'm guessing that's not good. It doesn't feel good. You're not really protected by much, but but neither am I, as it turns out. So Jesus Christ, this game feels so much more intense than the previous one. Like four toned it down. This is just mental. About to die, but you know, that was nuts. All right, <laughs> the Adidas. <laughs> Do you want to watch the Adidas ad again? The answer is obviously no. <laughs> Dragon Warrior Seven. Is this Dragon Quest? Because isn't it? Wasn't it called something differently before it was called Game's Dragon Quest? Like it, it did become Dragon Quest, but isn't it? If so, that's cool. I'm... I've not seen much. I've only seen, really, stuff of Eleven, so... I do want to play some of the other Dragon Quest games at some point in the future. Yeah, it is certainly Dragon, Dragon Quest. That's cool. Oh man, this is rad. This is so rad. What a cool thing to see. Oh man, I recognize some of these enemies from Eleven as well, so this is just really quite satisfying. <laughs> I'm very excited for 12, because they said they're going to make it very dark. Um, and I think the combat's not going to be turn-based as well. Um, which is interesting. I think they also said they've hired the director or one of the producers from the Automata. So it's just like, okay, interesting. You are not messing around. You want you want peak gaming is what you want for Dragon Quest XII. Hmm. 
that's cool. That's cool to actually see that. Siphon filter free. Um, yeah, this is a this is a trailer. I don't think there's ever been a gameplay demo free. But uh, but yeah, pretty neat. The game looks cool. Yeah, I do want to play some of the other Dragon Quest games for sure. I also want to, like, genuinely do want to play all the Final Fantasies at some point. Uh, I will get to it. Nice. It does look quite a lot, like, better than the first Siphon Filter. Like, I mean, obviously, because, you know, it's it's many years on, but, like, yeah, playing the first game and looking at this, it's, it's so much, so much more. It's very impressive. And then Spider-Man 2, we're back. All right, that's it. That's all the demos. That's wild. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to turn this down a smidge um, whilst I talk here. So, yeah, we've we finished all the demos. Um, we've gone through all of them. And it, honestly, it's been such a fun ride. I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, as I've been going, I've been making a list of stuff like that happened um so uh games that i would like to play at some point in the future that i that like appeal to me from this uh jumping flash which was the first like 3d platformer uh primal rage was a really cool fighting game uh street racer um which was a ubisoft uh game uh pandemonium and pandemonium 2 uh which is a toy Bob game uh spider spider looked really cool it was just a 2D platformer about Spider, uh, Roscoe McQueen, you know, God's Precious Water, uh, Parappa the Rapper and Unjama Lamy, I'd like to play properly at some point, Bloody Raw uh, looked a lot of fun, Gex Trilogy would like to do at some point, uh, which I'll probably do for limited fun games, uh, Grand Turismo 2, uh, The Unholy War, which is another Toy Story Bob game that looks really fun, uh, Tomb Raider 3, 4 and 5, but I am started playing Tomb Raider 3, so I guess this is, it goes to show how long ago I started updating this. Uh, a game called Scars, uh, which is a racing game. Speed Freaks was also a really cool looking racing game. Uh, Lego Racers, I'd like to try at some point. Because um, I, I played it, like, I never owned it, but I had played it. One of my friends had it. Um, and I would like to play it properly. Uh, Kingsley looked kind of interesting, so I'd like to try that. Um, Final Fantasy VIII, I'd love to play, as I mentioned before. I want to play all the Final Fantasies. Um, uh, Destrega looked really cool. It was like a awesome fighting game um arena fighting game um ace combat 3 i don't know if it's something i want to play but it was really fun to play so you know uh le mans 24 hours it was a cool racing game i uh, really enjoyed that uh grandia uh which was a uh turn-based rpg um which looked pretty cool i think it, i don't think we got to play it. i think it was just a dem uh a trailer it looked cool uh medieval 2 obviously uh renegade racers <laughs> was a cursed racing game, and I kind of need to see more. Uh, Muppet Race Mania looked pretty cool. It was basically, you know, Toy Story Racers, but Muppets. I kind of want to see more of it. Uh, Colin McCree Rally 2, I enjoyed that. Uh, <laughs> Vampire Hunter D. I do not know what it's like, but the game cut, like, it had, like, the intro cut scene as a trailer, and it was just so funny, because it cut to this monster that went, ah, constantly. And it did that, like, sound effect, like, 20 times back to back. And it was just so stupid. It was really, really funny. Um, so I'd like to see what it's like. Um, Galarians. I don't know what this game's like, but it was sort of like Silent Hill. It sort of gave that vibe, so it was kind of interesting. Uh, Mr. Driller was just a fun Namco arcade game, but I'd like to try at some point. Um, Legend of Dragoon. Um, it was fun to try it out. I'd like to play it properly, like, from the beginning of the game. Building up my party, seeing the story, it'd be kind of fun. Uh, Dino Crisis 2. Um, it was certainly interesting, because, uh, the first game I didn't really like much, uh, and the second game I never got to try, um, but from what I understand, the, um, the gameplay is very different in the second game, uh, and I'd like to see what it's like, um, Monster Rancher is kind of like Pokemon, it was kind of interesting, uh, Muppet Monster Adventures, basically Spyro, that looked really cool, uh, Jungle Book Groove Party, I'm curious to see what that game is like. Um, 321 Smurf, we never got to play it, I'm pretty sure, I think it was just a trailer, uh, but I'm curious to see what it's like as a kart racer. Uh, The Emperor's New Groove, I didn't own it, but I want to play it, um, because it was cool. 
Uh, Formula 1 2001, I'd like to play a version of it that's not insanely fast. Uh, Tintin Destination Adventure actually looked pretty good. Uh, Aladdin in Nasiwa's Revenge uh, was cool. Uh, Hugo Black Diamond Fever, I would like to see if it's bad. Uh, and by extension, Hugo the Evil Mirror looked super cool, so I'd actually like to see what that's like. Uh, Men in Black Crashdown, we never got to play it, but it looked really interesting from the trailer. Uh, Gunfighter The Le Le Legend of Jesse James was quite fun. Rayman Rush, I'd like to see what that version's like compared to the PS2. Pink Camp for Game, I'd like to play. Peter Pan, Stuart Little 2, Lilo and Stitch, Treasure Planet, Jinx, uh, all of these like 3D platformers I'd like to give a go. Uh, Overboard looked pretty fun. A Adibu and Pazriel's Secret was really interesting. Um, Jersey Devil um, looked interesting. Legend of Lagaya looked really cool. The Ergies was interesting, and so was Alundra 2. Uh, then in, there was games to replay. Uh, so there was, like, because they just made me happy when I briefly played them again. So Rage Racer, Cooler World, Tarzan, Rugrats, Toy Story 2, who's, who's surprised by that. Uh, Disney's Magical Racing Tour, Toy Story Racer, Atlantis, and Monsters, Inc. Um, I would like to play those again. However, I've mentioned this in the past and I'll mention it again. I am planning to continue my Disney preservation series. I am preserving Disney's history for gaming. Uh, and because I did a video on the first 100 Disney games. And it is the first of its kind. And as far as I'm aware, the only of its kind. And I'm going to continue that work. Uh, and have been working on it behind the scenes a little bit. So uh, you'll see that at some point. So I will be replaying these games for that, which I'm looking forward to. Um, music that uh, didn't necessarily make me want to play the game, but was really good. Um, the Alien Trilogy, Treasures of the Deep, uh, Colony Wars Vengeance, which it re uh, referred to itself as a sumptuous soundtrack. And you know what? It absolutely was. Um... It was absolutely a sumptuous soundtrack, uh, and it sounded a little bit like Jack and Daxter, it was really good. Um, the Pink Panther game, I had heard the soundtrack, but I hadn't played the game properly, and uh, yeah, it's a good soundtrack. Um, there was uh, Terra Incognita from Net Rose, also Haunted Maze from Net Rose, they were pretty good. Um, now these games, I have not actually heard the full soundtracks, but they sounded good from one or two songs. So Lucky Luke Western Fever, Gunfighter, The Legend of Jesse James. Um, Firebugs, Dancing Stage, Euromix Party, Action Man Destruction X, Ghoul Panic, Fifth Element, Dragon Valor, or Valor, uh, Buster Groove, Soul Blade, Legend of Lagaya, the USPS Demo 20, and Ergies. The most wasted potential was Space Debris, had the worst name ever, looked so badass in its trailer, and then the gameplay was kind of meh. Um, Game of the Century was Brian Lara Cricket. It claimed it was the game of the century, and it was just lame. Um, the most cursed was probably Sea Monkeys, Jesus Christ. Um, the best UI was the Anna Kornikova tennis game. And then the biggest nostalgic surprise, um, Star Trek Invasion. I don't know where I actually played this game, but seeing it was a wave of nostalgia. Like, seeing the menus, hearing the music, then getting into the game, like, I just... I have played that somewhere. I think it was my friend Paul. I think he had it. Um, and I haven't spoken to him since I left secondary. Actually, no, it was, it was before then. We sort of stopped being in touch around, like, early secondary school. Um, it was We were more primary school friends. Uh, but it was... I, I think... I think that's where I've played it, but I couldn't say for sure. Um, but it just... It was a massive wave of nostalgia. And then the hoops. I didn't have any memory of the hoop show until i heard and saw that intro theme play like that that was just like seeing that intro hearing it was just like a whoa like i didn't really watch the show at least nothing that i really remember um but it was a wave of nostalgia like hearing it i was just like okay wow this was a big surprise um so yeah there you go that's it that's the, uh, that's the demo series. It's been two years in the making. Um, 108 demos from the UK ones. And then, you know, like, however many others. And also, I played all the Yet Net Rose games for the, uh, anniversary stream. So, I've played the Net Rose's and stuff. So, yeah, like, it's, I don't know how many games I've watched and played through this series. Hundreds. I mean, I have no idea. I don't actually know the number. I didn't really count. It's, it's probably, if you include Net Rose, which does have a couple of hundred, it's probably over 500. It's a lot of games. <laughs> like, I don't think it's reached the thousands, but it is a lot. 
Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's been quite the journey, and I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. So thank you very much, ev everyone, for watching, and I will see you next time for something new. Tomorrow, I'm going to be streaming a Pokemon X and Y randomized Nuzlocke, and it is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to that. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you then for that.